10 Finest Ability Weapons in Bloodborne, by Mr. Helstein.com. Bloodborne is definitely one of many biggest and most difficult video games on the PS4. Sony did a superb job of constructing a unique take care of from software to create a recreation that mixed the core tenets of Dark Souls with fast paced gameplay that made for such an unimaginable expertise that a sequel would not go amiss. Miyazaki's creativity was on full show with this sensible title that's extensively beloved by many for a complete host of causes, together with those described above. The fight is certainly a standout, with gamers who go for ability construct signing themselves up for some actually intense fight with weapons that hit sooner and supply the participant with extra mobility, at the price of complete injury. Nevertheless, the DPS of most ability weapons greater than makes up for the decrease injury per hit, and the next ability weapons will actually allow you to defeat any enemy that you just would possibly encounter on the earth of Bloodborne. Pace is king in Bloodborne, for sooner weapons let one dodge assaults simpler in addition to land extra hits on foes, notably the extra nimble ones. Each Hooner value their weight in valuable blood is aware of that aggression mixed with swift maneuvers ends in one's prey happening all of the extra shortly. Some weapons are merely higher at doing this than others, making them the perfect selections for ability weapon construct. Number 10, Reiterpolish. The reiterpolish is extensively ignored by most Bloodborne gamers for the reason that thought of utilizing what looks as if an upgraded rifle spear looks as if a boring factor to do, however the reality of the matter is that the reiterpolish is a good weapon for ability builds as soon as they get used to the moveset. It permits gamers to shoot a bullet can stagger enemies in a somewhat cool method. It is also value noting that ability will increase the injury of visceral assaults, which may result in some somewhat wonderful gameplay moments certainly. This rapier has a tier scaling with ability when totally upgraded, permitting it to deal nice injury. It principally has thrusting assaults, which permits gamers to outhouse many smaller foes for a better time when out searching beasts. This blade could be discovered within the forsaken Kanehurst fort or purchased from the tub messengers after one acquires the Kanehurst badge. Number 9, Noticed Spear The brother of the Noticed Cleaver is just about equivalent to its counterpart, with the only distinction being its remodeled state and the scaling of the weapon. The Noticed Spear scales higher with ability builds, making it an excellent beginning weapon for gamers who want to begin off their recreation on excessive notice, though acquiring this weapon itself would possibly require some work. Nevertheless, a noticed spear advantage is extra from a high quality construct versus a purely ability based one, so gamers who want to import this weapon would do properly to maintain this in thoughts. Gaining a C tier in each ability and arcane permits gamers to incorporate some extra ethereal assault of their offense to grow to be a dominating power that can make all kin enemies quake in concern. The Noticed Spear's serration type injury additionally makes it very best for taking down bestial monstrosities. It may be picked up from the warehouse in central Harnam off of a corpse or bought from the tub messengers after acquiring the Noticed Hunter badge. Number 8, Simon's Bowblade One of many extra distinctive weapons within the DLC that's extensively reviled by a lot of the PvP consultants, Simon's Bowblade is a superb weapon for each shut and long range fight. Whereas the untransformed state is nothing to jot down house about, the truth that this weapon turns right into a bow in its remodeled state makes for fairly a distinctive fight expertise. After all, it must be talked about that Simon's Bowblade is likely one of the few weapons that has S scaling in Bloodborne. This blade and bow hybrid beneficial properties S tier scaling in each ability in Blood Tinge making it a really lethal ranged weapon, notably at greater ranges. As a bow in a world of weapons, one wouldn't anticipate this weapon to carry its personal in opposition to the likes of rifles and shotguns, nevertheless, every arrow loosed by Simon's bowblade offers considerably extra injury than commonest firearms. Number 7, Beast Hunter Scythe For essentially the most half, 
one would possibly argue that the Beast Hunter scythe and the noticed spear are just about one and the identical. Nevertheless, the very fact of the matter is that there are sufficient variations, corresponding to higher ability scaling, to separate it from its counterparts. The Beast Hunter scythe is a reasonably dependable weapon, though one should admit that its moveset is not actually essentially the most fascinating factor on the earth. Its B-tier scaling with ability is probably not spectacular by itself, although it's removed from an adverse trait. Because the Beast Hunter Scythe's in-game description implies, it will get outclassed by different serrated weapons. It could possibly primarily be seen as a prototype for the noticed spear within the lore of this darkish world. One factor that it does higher than its later created counterparts is that it's a good bit faster and has a moveset that features a few helpful evasive assaults that may be nice in opposition to sooner foes. Number 6, Ludwig's Holy Blade Ludwig's Holy Blade would possibly go well with high quality builds greater than pure ability builds, however there isn't any denying simply how highly effective this weapon is even with the latter. Whereas this weapon could be reviled by many for being overused by many Bloodborne gamers, there isn't any denying the truth that Ludwig's Holy Blade is a good weapon regardless. Boasting a few of the finest mixed scaling out of all weapons, this reworking sword beneficial properties be tier scaling in each power and ability in addition to a formidable A tier scaling with arcane. Moreover, each its longsword kind and its greatsword kind are righteous weapons, which signifies that they achieve a large 50% injury enhance versus a number of sorts of foes which are thought of mortal enemies of the therapeutic church. Number 5, Church Choose The Church Choose is certainly an excellent and dependable weapon that hunters can use by means of their journey within the endless dream. The truth that this weapon counts as each righteous and serrated enable it to do bonus injury to a ton of enemies, with its thrusting assaults making it efficient in opposition to kin enemies who usually do not are inclined to take as a lot injury as a few of the different enemies within the recreation. Each its longsword and warpick kind provide nice pace, which, as traditional, may be very helpful in dodging assaults in addition to staggering enemies with consecutive strikes. Its B-tier scaling with ability is nothing to jot down house about, although it would not really want greater stat-related boosts because it already will get a ton of harm multipliers in opposition to enemies. Number 4, Chickage The Chickage undoubtedly advantages with an equal funding in each ability and blood tinge, however nobody can deny the effectiveness of this weapon for ability construct regardless. Nevertheless, Maximizing its injury mandates the necessity to put money into blood tinge, for the reason that payoff is greater than value it. In its remodeled state, the chickage can hit for enormous injury, and look actually good whereas doing it, too. Acceptable for its title, which interprets to one thing like blood shadow in Japanese, this katana is equally as lethal because it sounds on account of its potential to deal pure blood tinge injury. This implies it may decimate many human beast, and kin foes alike. Moreover, it comes with a speedy poison impact that pairs fairly properly with its assault pace, letting hunters deal nice injury in addition to poison adversaries. Number 3, Blade of Mercy There are not many weapons in Bloodborne with S scaling in ability. We have already talked about Simons's Bowblade, and the following weapon on this very brief checklist is the Blade of Mercy. The truth that this weapon is the reward of a superb questline makes the Blade of Mercy all of the extra satisfying to make use of. Whereas the very of this weapon could be lower than spectacular, it greater than makes up for this deficit with an incredible moveset, a few of the quickest combos within the recreation when remodeled, and quickstep and rolling assaults that hit for substantial injury. Gamers could also be caught off guard by its pure improve and assault pace, nevertheless, they don't seem to be merely hallucinating. By repeatedly inputting mild assaults whereas this blade is in trick mode, the slashes will progressively pace up, which makes for a fast approach to drain a foe of life. The one factor actually limiting this overpowered characteristic is the wielder's stamina bar. 
Moreover, the Blade of Mercy additionally has an excellent evasive assault that slashes at an enemy horizontally earlier than leaping backward, away from hazard. Number 2, Burial Blade The Burial Blade is a simple advice for anybody who needs to replay Bloodborne once more in NG+. It is a disgrace that this weapon cannot be utilized in a participant's first run since one can solely achieve entry to it after defeating Garman, who's fought on the very finish of Bloodborne. Nevertheless, one could make a powerful case that this weapon itself is sufficient of a cause to replay Bloodborne, for the reason that Burial Blade is an absolute beast with a large attain and powerful assaults that may completely decimate mobs of enemies with the best of ease rendering some difficult areas into a complete completely different ball game. Many take into account it to be a greater model of the hunter's axe, as its common kind is a dependable one-handed weapon whereas its trick mode acts as a deceptively lengthy polearm. The burial blade's lengthy attain in trick mode additionally lets its wielder keep out a very of many assaults by enemies whereas slashing at them with close to impunity. Number 1, Rekuyo. Girl Maria's boss struggle is definitely one of many highlights of the outdated Hunter's DLC, and it will solely make sense that her blade is likely one of the finest ability weapons in Bloodborne. Whereas acquiring this blade is likely one of the greatest challenges that any gamer will face, the tip results greater than value it. The Rekuyo is a good weapon and permits for the participant to be a real whirlwind of dying in Bloodborne, which is saying quite a bit. Unusually, the Rekuyo just isn't dropped by the mighty girl Maria after, although, extra like if, she is defeated. It's discovered within the fishing hamlet, down a properly. It's possessed by a large fishman, which at first appears very odd, although if gamers learn its description, they'll study of Maria's mutual love and disdain for this weapon from a overseas land that led her to finally toss it down a decrepit properly. Thank you for watching. Please do click subscribe button below and if you are really liking the video, share it too. Want to help out the channel? It is quite easy, share this video.